trying to promote their art, no, no matter what art form it is, okay. is to first um, learn how to write a press release, to learn how to write an effective press release, um, you know, not to put logos on it, not to put, um, you know, not to do it in a crazy font, but to, you know, get an associated press handbook mm -hmm. and look up exactly how to write a press release, how long it should be, what it should look like. So that would be my first tip. Um, my second tip was would be to get familiar with all publications and all um, all media outlets that promote whatever it is you're trying to promote. Okay. And I would get the phone numbers and I would call them each and find out who handles their editorial desk and start sending your information to that specific person. Then if you have then if you have an event going on, I would send a media alert mm -hmm. with something that I always do is I always send something called a press mailer, which is some kind of tchotchke or some kind of um, of something that makes you stand out along with your media alert. Okay. Would you define Chotsky for us? <laughs> a, um, a gift. Okay. Those are fantastic <laughs> tips. Yeah. Is, there, is there anything else that, because um, I know with the indie artists, it mm -hmm. is, it's a world of, of, it's a mysterious world. How do you get publicity? And oftentimes they just don't know how, they, they don't feel comfortable putting themselves out there. Right, right. And it's um, really amazing that there is this middleman that you're talking about, the publicist, who yes. actually goes out and creates the image. Yes. Um, the other thing that, I, that, is, that is key for any independent artist, any, any artist, is a media kit. You have to have a media kit if you want to be considered by anybody that's legitimate in media. Okay. I mean, you just have to. So, um, so putting together a media kit that includes a bio and an eight by ten photo of you or your band or whatever it is you're trying to promote. Okay. And having that in a professionally put together format is key. Having a website mm -hmm. is key. Um, and 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 if you're not comfortable putting yourself out there, yes. you have to be able to hire someone or use a family family member or a friend or someone whose mission in life it is to get people to know who you are because otherwise they just won't I agree with you there it's, mm -hmm. I've even seen some artists who create uh, pseudonyms for themselves mm -hmm. so that they act as their own publicist or their <laughs> as their own PR person mm -hmm. and they'll call themselves maybe by their middle name or something of that nature so that when someone calls them and uses that name they know oh that's a reporter calling for possibly uh, an article or a quote. Right. Those are possibilities. Mm -hmm. Well, you had mentioned also Big Brothers, Big Sisters, mm -hmm. and I did want to uh, bring that, that issue back up because that, that's a very strong point of Tarnation. It's the mm -hmm. Big Brothers, Big Sisters mm -hmm. uh, organization, and that's an area that Jeff Miller, one of our guests mm -hmm. uh, on mm -hmm. the show, mm -hmm. had actually come to get, get to know, know Jonathan. And those kinds of nonprofit leads for a publicist mm -hmm are huge. Absolutely. And, um, you know, uh, cause marketing in general is what, what we call it, um, is cause marketing. And, um, and everybody has a specific cause that they're, that is near and dear to them. And it, utilizing those causes is helpful to the cause too. You know, the more exposure you get for yourself, the more exposure you're getting for the cause as well. So those kind of mutually beneficial, um, Promoting relationships are always are, are always one of the things excellent. that I'm interested about for the publicist for the viewer to understand is do you work on a team or are you alone or does it it actually depends that's a that's a great question um, the um, typically publicity firms work as a team um, when you're working with independents however there it, it kind of depends on the financial backing and and what's needed for the specific project need one person um, to work with them. Typically, well-established celebrities need a team of people to work with them because then you've got issues like damage control where you're trying to um, keep people, keep maintain some sort of private life for people, and, and that's a lot of work too. Yes. Damage yes. control. Tips that you would give once a fan base has been developed with an artist? Just just hanging on to and and continuing to nurture the relationship with those existing fans 
And, um, I mean, one of the ways of doing that is to make sure that you have an emailing list, a get, you know, a, a mail list, uh, blogging is, is popular now, um, and you can do it through your website or, or through, through mailing from the attendance at your show. But making sure that the people who are in your audience, especially when you're new on the scene, making sure that they feel appreciated and feel like their, um, their loyalty to you is paying off. Is, is very important. Would you define blogging or a blog for the audience, please? Yes. <laughs> Personal web log. <laughs> okay. So, um, so it's basically online journaling. Okay. Is, that's the way that I, that I define it. But, um, but it's very popular these days. And, um, and artists, plenty of artists have them. Jonathan has JonathanCoet.com. And Jonathan's blog basically updates his fans as to where he is and what yes. he's doing with his, with his film. Exactly. Where he is, what he's doing, anything interesting happening in his life, and anything personal that he shares is always, you know, people are always really excited about. So those kind of things get people really dedicated. Tiffany, thank you for letting us look inside your world. This is a rare glimpse inside of the person who actually makes the public face of the, the star that we know the star that we get to know, you're actually the person behind it that's shaping that person. Thank you. Thank you for having me.